In Mexico, the town squares where people gather and snack and talk and talk politics, they're called Zocalo. So we sort of took the spin on that. That's what we wanted here in Santa Monica was Socolo, so Southern Cal, but Socolo, a place for the neighborhood to gather. Calmex really is whatever I want it to be. <laughs> it's, you know, taking California's bounty and abundance of ingredients and giving it that sort of fiesta. We're spoiled as chefs living here. So we take advantage of that, but we also have our passion for the Mexican kitchen. So that combo makes it very easy to say this is Calmex. We use a lot of cheeses and creams and milks from California because they're absolutely the tastiest. They just are incredibly luscious and milky and they have a lot of, you know, melting properties that are incredible. We want the California style Mexican cheeses because they're, you know, they're consistent. We know exactly how they're going to taste. So one of the popular things on our menu is our kale Caesar, which the croutons are made out of cotija cheese. So they're little cubes of cheese that are just quickly fried, so they're really crispy on the outside and nice and gooey on the inside. They're so delicious and irresistible. The second they come out of the fryer, I do quality control in the kitchen, constantly. They're so delicious and you would never expect it. Our signature cheese mix is California Manchego, California Cotija, and California Panela. So we grate the Manchego, and, and if you don't have Manchego, you can use a Oaxaca cheese, which is sort of another melty string cheese. And we grate the crumbly Cotija, the salty one, and then we also take the Panela, which is sort of like a dry cottage cheese or a dry ricotta, and we grate that, and then we toss them together, and that's where the magic happens. That combination together makes the perfect mix for like a chili relleno, for a quesadilla, for vampiro tacos. It's just the perfect saltiness and texture for us. My favorite thing on our Socolo menu right now are the vampiro style tacos. Really true. That the vegetarian version of it with the melted three cheeses on the comal, that is my favorite thing on our menu right now. Yeah, so the, the Vampiro taco we discovered down in Tijuana, and you know, when we saw this street vendor making it on the street on the comal, getting this golden crispy cheese and stuck to a tortilla and flipping it over, we were just like, boy, this, we gotta take this back and make these you know, our own at Socolo. Okay, so we're gonna make our Vampiro taco, which is the number one seller here at Socolo. We've got our signature California three cheese mix. We're gonna take a handful of it and put it right on top of this medium hot comal. It starts to melt. Then you wanna take your blue corn tortilla and press it down on top. Then you gotta be patient. 30, 40 seconds need to go by before that really nice lacy brownness starts to set in on the bottom layer of cheese. And then you take the spatula and slide it under and flip it over. Now you've got this gorgeous lacy brown cheese and the bottom, the corn part of the tortilla is on the comal getting a little bit toasty. Whatever is available at the Santa Monica Farmer's Market is what ends up in our vegetarian vampiro. Today, we have uh, fresh corn, zucchini, and kale. And a little bit of my favorite salsa matcha, which is with almonds and pepita seeds, pumpkin seeds, a little bit of garlic and oil and three chilies. Add that on there. And then, of course, we have nice, fresh, chopped cilantro and chopped onion, and then a little pickled onion for color. Pickled onion on there that's been pickled with beet, so it's got this bright reddish purpley color, and then a squeeze of fresh lime. When we make our burrito, we actually do the same thing. We put the cheese on the comal, put the flour tortilla on top, 
and then flip it over and what we end up with is this lacy, crispy cheese melted onto the flour tortilla and when you put all the ingredients inside and wrap it up, it creates sort of a, a barrier and a little cocoon so that the, the tortilla doesn't ever get mushy and it is really a fun way to make a burrito. To be a real maker. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> it's a great, great campaign. Don't get, don't get us wrong. You are on to something here.